Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Cancer. How are you guys? Thanks so much for dropping in. Let's see what's happening with your energies. What's going on around you? Anything you need to know, Cancer? Cancer, what does Cancer need to know? Clarity, please. For Cancer, that's a big chunk. There we go. And we have in the hand, the universe is your partner. Okay, this one here wants to come out. And initiation, the crossing. Ooh, this is sort of leaving things up to the universe. Okay, but this could be an energy of initiating. There's something to do with partnering up here. It's about crossing the bridge. See, there may be some kind of bridge to cross here. Okay, well, it looks like something is about to begin here. Some sort of initiation. I see repairing the mind, body, and spirit, me talks, maybe, you know, before you, it's an energy of crossing those bridges when you come to it, but something's being initiated, so I do, it could be a healing energy, but this is the me talks, okay, taking a little time for yourself, making sure you heal, okay, just kind of leaving things up to the universe, but because that word partner, and it keeps drawing my eye right to the word too, somebody here, uh, likely, uh, wants to start something but i feel it's crossing that bridge when you come to it taking time for you me talks okay so make sure that you do that because i feel that's definitely feels very powerful the fact that it's coming out right after the initiation yeah could be healing a situation but it's about crossing that bridge so there it is see looking out there it's an energy of the Ten of Swords, so something is ended, it's over, whatever it is, so you're looking out there for something new. You can see the things are looking brighter, so really nice energy. I see possible communication coming in, initiation. <laughs> yeah, something's finished, it's done, maybe it was painful, but I feel it's an energy of very positive, yeah, so you've got the birth of something new. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Now, this could be um, work, money, creative pursuits, whatever it is, but definitely the healing. So this is the energy of the healing energy. Something has ended. Make sure you've healed. I feel like some of you have. Okay, you've gone through this probably already. But, you know, it's about making sure that you are ready. So there it is. See, walking away from something that wasn't emotionally fulfilling, but you're, you know, you're moving towards something new. So beautiful. Some of you are ready. Okay. Yeah. Or you're just taking the necessary steps. Yeah. See, there's been a little bit of um, negative energy, five of cups. So it's an energy of focusing on this past. See, some of you, like I say, you need a little, some of you may need a little more time to me talks. Time for you. So it's energy. It's telling me it's this is your time right now. Okay. Because you're, something has ended and you're just walking away. Okay. And you're looking at that sun. So things are definitely, like I say, they're looking brighter. I love this deck. It always focuses so nicely on um, you know, more of a logical energy, I, I feel, but it, this, it's always about that trying to look on the bright side. It's about knowing when to walk away. Okay. But this empress is the healing. I feel it's, it, this is a time for you. I feel no more focusing on the negative, the things that uh, could have been, should have been maybe, you know, uh, it's about no longer doing that. See, there it is. See, being very logical, like I say, because the Empress is here. Yeah, this is looking into the future, doing a lot of thinking, yeah, grounding yourself. You're ready to manifest. You have everything you need. So this is about manifesting everything you need, looking into the future. You see, you have someone here you may have cut out. Maybe you don't see a future with a person or if, like I say, it could be a job, something you're creative because we know the Empress is very creative grounded and very balanced being sensible so you're being sensible and logical love it very grounding so beautiful beautiful energy a lot of focus on the finances here manifesting money but it's it's about having everything you need some i feel some of you this is like me time this is like this time in your life here where you're just kind of you know, looking out for yourself here you see but i do see thoughts of the future i do see ending something see you're no longer thinking negative you're thinking positive gorgeous ten of cups 
Yeah, see, there's something you may have been holding on to, but this is about balance. We know the Empress is very balanced. This is about not focusing on one thing too much, focusing on every aspect of your life. You may be kind of looking, taking stock of your life, okay? So I do feel there was something that may have kept you stuck here, um, okay? But I feel like you're moving forward. I love this. This is a beautiful reading. Uh, you know, the universe is, is your partner, so... Mm, the Empress. Yeah, see, there you are. See, you've let something go. And uh, and you're moving off on a whole new path. See, beautiful creative energy. Some of you, you know, you may be very creative. You may be kind of manifesting something here. You have the tools, the information, everything you need. So it's, it looks like you're kind of preparing uh, for the future. Uh, beautiful see sacrificing so see you've sacrificed some of you cancer we know you often sacrifice yourself for others now it's telling me this is your time okay that's what i feel me talks this is all about you right now okay this is your life this is about initiating and crossing those bridges when you're ready you're just sensible and grounded so the sacrifice is leaving something behind you've sacrificed enough Oh, yeah, I feel as some of you, this is definitely people who, <laughs> yeah, it's all about you right now. See, trusting your intuition, your inner knowing. See, it's energy of being wise. You become wiser. Your intuition is guiding you. See, there's that spiritual guidance that you're getting. You're being guided here. Okay, you're being guided to possibly a partner, and it could be a business situation, someone creative, someone you're compatible with. So definitely I feel some of you aren't in an energy. We know the Empress doesn't settle. Once you get to that healing stage of the Empress, you've learned all these lessons. You no longer are going to um, sacrifice and give up things that are important to you. Definitely saving money, I feel, is telling you to hold on to your money. Be sensible and practical how you spend your money. Plan and think about, think ahead, okay? Because that's what the Queen of Pentacles does, is always thinks ahead, always preparing for the future. See, making sure you have what you need, but you're manifesting. Very powerful. This is very powerful with that Empress energy. But it's about um, not giving up the things that you want, no longer sacrificing, you see? Yeah. See, there it is. It's going to be about choosing the one, Okay, but I do see something you're really passionate about here. I feel something creative too for some of you, but it could be spirit guiding you to the right person. You may have some kind of realizing you sacrificed a lot for someone, you know. Um, now you're no longer willing to do that. You, you, you've sacrificed definitely with the Empress. You've, and it it is, is about healing and trusting your intuition, your inner knowing, your wisdom. You're wiser, you see. Your intuition's powerful. So, But like I say, the universe is your partner. This has to do with choosing the one, whether it's a job or a person. Nice. Tell me about in the hand. Yeah, something's going here. There, see, being very practical and sensible. See, this is your morals, your values, your beliefs, your habits. So some of you were letting go of something, maybe that was a habit, it's over. You've conquered it by the looks of it. But this is having faith in yourself. So I do see some of you have some Taurus in your chart. It's definitely connected to the Empress as well. But this has to do with new habits, traditions, beliefs. This could have to do with some kind of negotiation or a contract. Okay, you may need to negotiate. If you do, just be calm and grounded. Look at things. It, it looks to me like you're planning for the future. You have some kind of plans. Okay, and you're preparing. Because the Queen of Pentacles prepares. It's a person who's also maybe, you know, getting organized, forming new habits. Um, but I love the tradition because this could be an energy of education and learning. You see? But, you know, it's very grounded, and I feel it has to do with choosing somebody uh, or a job, uh, something creative, and maybe even a few things going on. So there could be some kind of negotiation or contract or some kind of an agreement. <laughs> mm. Got that spiritual guidance there. Pretty interesting. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Yeah, see, no longer giving. See, some of you saving money, don't put out, spend more than you should, okay? But it's also an energy of reciprocity. So there's someone here who may not have reciprocated. 
Okay. Some of you may be putting out more money as in coming in. So it's about preparing for the future, being more sensible. Some of you are putting out job applications. Okay. Because I feel like you're just being wise, very thoughtful. But this, you know, the when I see the Queen of Swords and the the High Priestess, you see, that's your inner knowing, your inner wisdom guiding you as well. But this is the messages, see? You're getting some kind of messages, some kind of inner guidance. Yeah. I, I love this because I feel like there's something you're no longer doing. You're no longer reciprocating, okay? Yeah. Sa definitely saving money, but it's also an energy of holding on to something that's kept you stuck, that you were focused on, that was negative, okay? So don't think that. There it is, the aha moment, seeing the truth, see? Seeing the truth. So I do see something to do with success. Well, you have all the tools you need to be more financially successful, uh, definitely. Um, but like I say, this could be choosing a partner, choosing the one, okay? Something you're really passionate about. We know, you know, the Empress doesn't settle. So if, if that is your energy, uh, this is about choosing the right person. It's when something just feels right. So some of you may have ended something that just doesn't feel right. You've sacrificed and given enough, okay? Yeah, you've got it. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, see, there it is, the emotional fulfillment. See, in the bigger picture, you see, you're preparing for the future. I see a lot of success and emotional fulfillment. You have everything you need to manifest what it is you want. The tools, the information, and maybe you have to learn a little something new here, new habits, okay, maybe uh, restructuring your life. But definitely some of you, I feel like you're, you know, you're very thoughtful here. And that light bulb, that idea, there could be some kind of creative idea that comes to you. Okay. Tell me about this Six of Pentacles. Yeah. See, manifesting. You see? Yeah. See, some of you have been putting out a lot of money. You're manifesting something. You're preparing for the future. I see a lot of happiness, a lot of grounded um, and financial stability here. But I feel some of you, definitely there's that energy of partnering up, finding someone who's, who's right for you. It has to do with having faith in the path that you're on as well. So uh, it's a possibility. You've got another person here who may be manifesting you. When I see this, this is a little bit of a mirroring energy. So there could be, like I say, someone who wasn't reciprocating. See? So the light bulb's going off, the aha moment. Tell me about the magician. Yeah, so you're at that time in your life, a crossroads. So there's definitely some kind of change, some kind of transformation, you know. And now it could be how you spend your money, you see. because Or you're putting out a lot of money to manifest something you're really passionate about. But it's about being sensible and practical. I feel like there's some kind of idea here and some kind of truth that you're seeing. Ace of Swords. Yeah, see, something you didn't see before. There was some kind of indecision, something maybe you didn't see. Maybe you, you were holding on to someone or someone was keeping you stuck. The situation definitely was, but it's definitely an energy of protecting yourself, your money, uh, you know, your safety and your security, feeling safe. There's someone here maybe you didn't feel safe with. You may have sacrificed a lot, but I feel it has to do with uh, this beautiful passion energy, this growth. Uh, new habits. Yeah. So, oh, there you go. So, you know, see, there's somebody here who wasn't telling you the truth. They were manipulating, breadcrumbing you. See, they weren't telling you. Maybe even lying, dropping breadcrumbs, dropping hints. Yeah. So it's very negative. It's a, it could be someone who feels like there's no hope or somebody who feels, maybe you got someone who's, you know, looking at that. Uh, there's someone who has a little bit of regret here for not telling you the truth. So what is that truth? Oh, someone on apology. Somebody shy or a little apprehensive. Maybe an apology. It could be somebody reaching out here to apologize. But see, it's the manifesting. Someone may have manipulated you. Maybe they're apologizing. They weren't reciprocating. They weren't giving. I feel like you sacrificed. The, the Empress showers the abundance. You showered some abundance upon someone. So it's possible somebody exploited you or took advantage of your kindness, generosity. We know the Empress can be that way. 
guarantee you won't be doing it again because I feel with the Queen of Pentacles, you're, you know, you, you become very wise here. <laughs> uh huh. And you're very grounded, very, you know, Queen of Pentacles and the, <laughs> the Queen of Swords is, uh, you know, somebody very smart here. Yeah, see, it's energy of walking away. See, this is energy. Maybe somebody walked away from you. Okay, or you chose to walk away. I feel like you've got your eye on the future. I, I feel like this is your time. But I do see this repairing mind, body, and spirit. Okay? So there's this energy of looking for something. You see, there's that eight of cups, eight of cups. So I feel this is some maybe apologizing for walking away. Okay, or asking why you did whatever it is. They're apprehensive, maybe a little bit shy. It's often a person who come, sometimes doesn't tell you everything or they just tell you what you want to hear. So it could be someone who's taking advantage. Watch out for that energy of being exploited. This is an energy of someone exploiting someone's generosity. Yeah. But, it, you know, it's like they're trying to manifest something here because it's it's here twice for both of you. But this transformation tells me there's this... Uh, this change it's like you're at this time in your life where you've gone through some kind of change okay i feel this is your time to do what's right for you okay to focus on your money your finance career creative pursuits and new ideas it's a lot of passion here but i feel there's definitely something else here uh, at least for some of you to do with choosing the one and you maybe you weren't on the same page with someone here it could be someone who sabotaged a situation here, too. Sometimes that sacrifice is actually self-sabotage. Tell me about the initiate. Someone's going to initiate a conversation. Yeah, someone here maybe wanted to know if you're single. I feel some of you, like I say, I feel like it's your time right now. You're looking out for yourself. Number one, you're preparing ahead. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor, you see, and you're going to be. I see a lot of emotional fulfillment. Lot of, I feel like you're kind of in a happy place. This is your time, uh, and you know, but maybe you are feeling ready for a relationship. Okay, some of you may have been married before, you know, kind of stuck in a situation. Maybe you gave and sacrificed, you know, maybe you gave up a lot of things, you know, that you now want to do. But I feel here you've got a person here who, you know, it's an energy of someone, you know, either they walked away from you or they're asking you why you walked away. You see, or, you know, you're looking for something here. But I feel it's an energy of someone who's definitely mirroring two people looking for the same thing. But if you've had a person you walked away from, like I say, you could have a, someone who says, hey, let's just go for a cup of coffee because there is this transformation, some kind of choice in a life path that what you're manifesting and what it is you want. You see, and if you did have a person who manipulated you and kept you stuck, took advantage you see, I can definitely see you being more balanced, okay? Focusing on other aspects of your life, trying really hard to stay balanced. And I feel like you're mastering it, okay? You're mastering life here. So there's the, there it is. See a single person who lives alone? Uh, some of you are maybe, you know, uh, negotiating a contract for a new home, a strong financial foundation. There's a reason to celebrate. You know, some of you are definitely living alone, but someone is going to, there's that bridge to cross, that initiation. And I feel, like I say, you may have walked away from someone who wasn't reciprocating, manipulating. You were generous. You sacrifice. You're no longer sacrificing, but this could be another person coming in. So I just want to dig into this person a little more. Um, I don't like it when those two energies come out on the same card. You're just going to be wise. You're going to think, okay, very, very deeply. You're going to question. You become discerning. Maybe even a little cynical at times here, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, see, we've got the three pages. Somebody who's focused on their money. Uh, someone is an energy of someone who's a little detached, okay? It's often a person who acts like they're not interested when they are, you know, when they manipulate. But I feel like, you know, like I say, I feel like you're no longer comfortable with this. or someone here you do not see a future with. But I do feel it is possible, You've got, I feel I'm going to have a few people reaching out to you in the next while. You're going to walk away from somebody, but you have um, someone else here who's manifesting. Somebody who's kind of, I feel like, on the same path as you, wanting the same things. 
Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, you're releasing things that no longer serve. See, you've learned your lessons. You know your worth and value. This has to do with your hopes and dreams. It's something that I feel like you wanted, you know. But I feel someone's going to reach out uh, to you. There's uh, And definitely I can see the energy of three. You know, it could be different people in your life for different things. We know that the this is often a person who, you know, only tells you what you want to hear. Or they just... Very careful. It's a. It's definitely a logical person. It's a curious person, but it's often a person who doesn't tell you everything that you need to know. They drop the breadcrumbs, drops hints. That's why I feel like someone may have manipulated you, and they regret it. You see, but yeah, I I definitely can see you walking away from someone. This actually came out first. Yeah, so you may walk away, even a couple of people, but you know, you're definitely got your eye on the future. You're focused on the future. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you your future self here as well. Then this came out. So this is a person who's definitely focused on their finances, but often it's someone who acts like they're not interested. Okay. When they are. So yeah. got a little mirroring energy, a little, little bit of mirroring energy. So that's why I feel like there's somebody here who's on that same path, the time in their life. See, it has to do with being confident. See, you've got someone here who um, has to do with being confident. Now, this is also an energy of looking on the past with kindness and compassion often here. See, that's where you're no longer focused on this negative. You've, you've gone through this healing, but I do see the energy of being confident, okay, about some kind of a decision that you're going to make. Somebody else here wasn't. Okay, so it's often you get a person who manipulates because they're not confident. They want something. So I feel it's a, you've got, there's a couple of people, a couple of energies, but I feel like your life path here has to do with some kind of transformation. Something needed to end before something new begins, definitely. But I see you living alone, looking out for yourself. You have everything you need, a house, a home, okay, or you're working on that. I definitely see you moving towards a lot of emotional happiness the future you see and being strong and confident here yeah wow it's also an energy of focusing on the things that you know to be true okay that's that logic so but somebody is about to initiate a conversation it could be someone who reaches out asks you if you're single okay it's going to create some kind of change. It's a transformation, some Scorpio energy. You see? Someone here is going to possibly even approach you. Uh, there's the chariot. Yeah. This is about not being ruled by the emotions. We know you're in the Empress energy here, not being ruled by your emotions, making logical, sensible decisions. So it looks like some kind of a head over heart possibly here, but it has to do with the, your power. So you've taken your power back and you're moving. Some of you may have even moved, you know, but you're manifesting this energy. You have everything you need. So you're staying on course. Some of you, like I say, this is just your time in your life right now, stepping into life, a new house, new home, new job, a lot of happiness, emotional fulfillment. See someone who lives alone. But I feel someone's going to reach out and ask you something. Could be someone in your neighborhood just reaches out and asks you if you're single. <laughs> Sometimes it's that simple. But let's have a look at me talks. I feel there's going to be an apology. Yeah. Somebody here is thinking reconciliation. But we have to remember this is your decision because this is about you, your life, your happiness. You see, it's. I feel like you've sacrificed a lot. Now, it could be you were in a relationship, marriage, you gave up a lot. Maybe you sacrificed education, money, being able to focus on your finances. That's why I feel like this is your time. Okay. And I feel like you are moving towards success. I feel like you're in control. I feel like you have a lot of power. I feel like your intuition is very strong. But I feel like you got a person swooping in here. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely, Cancer, you got something really good stuff going on. Tell me about this power. Some of you may have a new house, a new 
car, things like that. Oh yeah, new friends, family, see, maybe even moving, relocating. No, I definitely see the energy of three. So like I say, there's a couple of people here. And uh, some of you, there's definitely parties, celebrations, invitations. Um, is this is beautiful. You may even meet somebody new here too, like I say. But I feel like this is energy of crossing you know, that bridge. Someone's going to initiate a conversation. Somebody in your neighborhood, your community, near your home. Someone wants to know if you're single. You have a person who's curious. But I do feel like you've walked away from someone who was indecisive, someone who couldn't make up their mind. It's also a person who fails to see. Maybe you didn't see this, okay? You might be focused on other things. You might not even see this coming. <laughs> I got to be honest, because I feel like someone's going to reach out. Hey, how are you doing? Do you want to go for a coffee? You see? Or someone is, like I say, it could be an apology. Someone who walked away. Some of you, it's a reconciliation. Some of you, it's just a decision to release and heal that time for yourself. So uh, some of you definitely have. And I do feel like maybe you are ready to connect. I see friends and family getting together, socializing, positive news. There's some kind of good news coming in. Now, it could be some, like I say, you may get some kind of an invitation. Let's have a look at the Three of Cups. Oh, yeah, you've got someone feeling the love. Someone's in their emotions here. Somebody here who's pretty confident about how they feel. I don't know if you're looking for love right now, though. I'm not seeing the Queen of Cups. I feel this is just you, your time for you right now. Because you've sacrificed, I feel, so much. And I do feel it has to do with the path that you're on, creative pursuits. Like you've got these beautiful things going on. You see? But it has to do with cooperation, compromise, compatibility. See, things that you have in common. There's three. This is somebody in your social circle. I, I feel like you got someone here who you have something in common with. So that's why I feel like you got a person who's going to approach you. They're at that time in their life when they're thinking marriage, commitment. I don't know if you want this, though. You'll cross that bridge when you come to it, most definitely. i seen that right off the get-go, but it's them going to initiate. Yeah, you got a, you got a couple people. You've got the uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like if there is a Scorpio, you may end it, or somebody else is. But what I, I feel here is there's a person who's indecisive or failing to see, you know. Someone's definitely... That's why I feel it's either someone, hey, do you want to go for a cup of coffee? I mean, it could be someone here who's not very confident. You may have someone who manipulated because they're not confident. But yeah, I definitely see this walking away. Where is my soulmate? It's almost like there's someone who's looking for the same thing you are. Yeah, I, I just feel like you're, you're, you're going to cross these bridges when you come to it. But this person's going to initiate. I feel like you're going to get an invitation. Or somebody is going to introduce you to someone else. Or you're going to meet someone through somebody else here. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. What does this person want? To take a leap of faith. They want to leave something behind. They want to take a risk. They want to go down this path. Ooh, Cancer. Let's see who this King of Cups is. It could be the same person. Yeah, someone who's drinking their tears, keeping their feelings to themselves. So there's some unrequited love possibly here. Someone who's drinking their own tears. And it's because something has ended. Someone's kept something to themselves, their feelings. It's like a person here, someone here is just not confident. Okay. And they keep those feelings to themselves. There's unrequited love. But this has to do with someone taking a leap of faith, going down that path, taking a risk. They're leaving what they want to do. I say, what did this person want to do? They want to take a leap of faith. They want to leave something behind. One last look over their shoulder. It's an energy of just going down that whole new path. 
Yes. Oh, look at that. You're about to get something you want here. I don't know if you actually want this. I'm going to be honest. Somebody here is offering one cup, keeping all their feelings to themselves. That's likely what has ended that you've walked away from. But I feel like you have a person here who kept all their feelings to themselves. <clears throat> Somebody very cautious, very careful what they wish for. Somebody didn't get what they wanted because maybe they manipulated and you walked away. So I feel like you're going to get an apology. But I'm, if someone wants to reconcile, they want to heal this. Uh, I'm not so sure you're interested. I have to be honest. I see you living alone. Now, it could be someone asking you where you live, if you're single. As I feel there's a few things going on. And you actually may uh, have somebody here who is very much like you. I feel like you there, there's a lack of compatibility with another person. So it could be any of these signs, okay? Just because of the way it came out. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Yeah, party, a celebration, a get-together. Yeah, business opportunities, financial stability. It's about feeling safe and secure, financially stable. So there's definitely, some of you may have an idea for a new business that you're really focused on. Whatever it is, if you ended something and you've been going through this long process of healing, whatever it is you're doing for yourself, Okay, you're mastering life because you're healing. And I do feel some of you are ready okay, uh, for love again. But it's I see an energy of yourself playing it safe, being cautious. You're protecting yourself. You've worked hard to get where you're at here. I can see it. You're trying to stay balanced as well. Somebody maybe was a little stuck, a little stubborn. They didn't want to cooperate or compromise. Maybe that's why it ended. I feel like you've sacrificed, you've compromised enough. Okay? I, I, I don't see you compromising with someone if they ask you to compromise. Okay? Especially if it's somebody who is trying to reconcile. Um, but, you know, you'll know, you know your own story. So there's always some kind of compromise. And, and there's always sacrifices. Um always some kind of sacrifice but the thing is is uh, don't let someone take advantage of you see I, I feel like you gave to somebody and they took advantage they manipulated your kindness and your generosity so whether it's in love whether it's to do with work a business situation okay so there's definitely a person who wants to partner up yeah you've got some kind of choice in love here Definitely there's love. Some of you love what you do too. Like I feel, you're loving yourself first, okay? But this has to do with choosing the one, someone who's on the same page, similar lifestyle habits. I feel like you're forming some new habits, maybe even a whole new lifestyle for some of you. This is crazy. Uh, tell me about this judgment. Yeah, see, there's some kind of movement. Someone's about to make a move. Okay, some of you have moved, you've relocated, or you've got someone moving into your neighborhood. I feel like there's going to be initiation or an invitation, okay, uh, to meet some people, or you meet someone through someone else. You've got choices, you've got options, see? Some of you, I see purchasing a home, putting a down payment, uh, making a big decision. But that repairing mind, body, and soul, that's why I feel like this is your time, okay? And I feel like you're going to be logical. I see a head over heart decision about what it is you're manifesting. You have the tools, the information, everything you need. You know, so I see being cautious. And I feel with the Empress, you're only giving so much because I feel like you've given, you sacrifice. If you have someone who comes in, you're no longer giving. Okay, you're no longer showering your abundance upon someone because I feel with the Empress is always open. You know, like I feel like maybe you waited for someone to initiate and now you've kind of moved on. It's like you're on this whole different path. Let's have a look at the outcome here. The Will-O-Wisp, treasure hidden in the shadows. See, is there something hidden? You see, this is someone who I feel like you've got a person here who never told you how they felt. Right? Maybe they didn't want to sacrifice. Maybe they're being stubborn and selfish. Okay. But whatever it is, someone is going to reach out to you. I feel like where you're headed is that emotional fulfillment. And I feel like you're going to be very careful. You're going to play it safe. But I actually feel like you're going to get something you want. Someone isn't going to get what they want from you because you're no longer going to be manipulated. You see? 
But I do feel like you have something new coming in. It could be a job opportunity, a business opportunity, a partnership, some kind of negotiate negotiation. And it could be in your love life as well for some of you or both where you have to negotiate, make some kind of an agreement. You see? Something you're wishing for, your hopes and, and, and dreams here. See? Yeah. See? I, I, I just feel like this is how you're conducting yourself. This is like the new you after a healing energy. And we have Feast of Plenty, choices and their consequences, see? This is about making the right choice. You made some choices maybe that weren't so good in the past. You sacrificed a lot, okay, and gave, and you were taken advantage of, possibly exploited. I actually feel this is pretty major. Somebody who manipulated, they got you to keep giving and giving. Now they regret it. And you may have a few regrets as well, but that no longer serves. Leave it behind because you're on a whole different path now. None of that matters, okay? Now, I do see love, uh, your path in love, initiation. Somebody is going to initiate. You're going to meet someone here through someone else, and it could lead you on a whole different path for business, career, and your love life. Feast of plenty. Choices have their consequences. There's treasure hidden in the shadows. See, somebody here, I feel, didn't want to sacrifice. They didn't want to give. They didn't want to cooperate and compromise, and they're regretting it. But I still see you walking away with confidence. <laughs> Someone wants to come out. Yeah, see, things are going in your favor. Luck and the right timing. Oh, my. See, you got, you're off on a whole new path, a whole new cycle in your life. That's why I feel like you're like stepping into life here. This is your time, okay? So I don't think you're going to let someone take advantage of you. I feel like you're going to look out for yourself, protect yourself. I also feel like you're going to save money. I feel Maybe you were saving money and you decided to be generous with someone to help them out. And they took advantage. I definitely see someone taking advantage of your kindness. I see you becoming a lot more confident here. So it's also an energy of taming the beast within yourself. Cancer, we know you love to sacrifice and give, but I feel like you're now uh, no longer doing that. Maybe it has to do with you weren't confident in the past, so you just gave and gave to someone, your time, your energy, okay? Because you didn't feel confident, maybe. Maybe you weren't as financially stable, but now I feel like you have everything you need. That's why I feel like you're a lot more confident um, you're no longer ruled by your emotions. You're learning to play it safe. But you are going to get something you want. Things are about to go in your favor. The luck and right timing. So it has to do with being at the right place and the right time. Meeting someone. If you've moved to a new neighborhood or a new business, a new place of work, something to do with that, okay? Because I feel like, you know, there's something you really wanted, you really were wishing for. Maybe you never felt like you'd really get it. But I feel like it has, like I say, with this person, what do they want? They want to take a leap of faith. They want to go down this path with you. They want to take the risk. That's what they want. But if you have a person who wants you to take the risk, they want you to take all the risk, okay, whether it's a business, they don't, you know, some kind of negotiation or contract, they want you to put up more money than they're willing to, I don't think you're going to do it. Okay, because I feel like you're protecting yourself. So there's something there too for some of you. Don't give somebody more than they deserve, okay? Um, like, don't sacrifice your own financial stability, your own safety for someone else who may never give it back. That's what I feel, manipulation, mind game, someone who never told you. They may have even had more money than you and they took advantage, you see? That's why I feel like you, I just feel like it's very, this is something where you're very strong you're confident. You are going to get love. You are going to have love if you want it. If you don't want it and you just want to be single, you want to focus on money, you want to have that wealth, the business, you want to be stable, you're going to, you can have that too. So your choices right now is what's important, you see? But that treasure hidden in the shadows, something here is going to be revealed. There's some kind of movement. Tre if you've moved or relocated, you just recently bought a home or a car, Okay, uh, the, the seeds being planted. This is building a strong financial foundation. It's also some kind of commitment. Okay, you're getting something you want. So there's some kind of movement. Things are moving. And it could be if you have moved, someone may reach out and ask you if you've moved. 
okay, and relocated. But it, to me, it means that somebody else has to make the first move. Okay, so if you have a person who's got feelings for you and they're not so sure they should reach out, you may not feel the same. It could be that too. It's going to happen because your paths are going to cross. So it's possible you have someone who never really did. Unrequited love never made that move. They never did or said anything. Maybe they were focused on their finances, you know. Maybe they weren't ready, but you, you definitely got beautiful energy coming. The Feast of Plenty. So you, you, you do have enough. You are going to have enough. Okay. To, you're, you're definitely going to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So it tells me it's, it's about focusing on work, focusing on you. Okay. This is your time. I feel it's just saying this is your time. But I also feel it has to do with being in the right place at the right time, meeting someone. So I feel like this beautiful energy. Things are definitely going in your favor. Luck and the right timing. See, it's something to do with the timing. Maybe the timing wasn't right for somebody. You know, but I still feel like you're confident. You no longer see a future with someone because of this. See something it's where you know you're no longer comfortable. You you cannot it, you know, sometimes the ten of swords is where the straw broke the camel's back. You know, and I feel like you are the ten of swords rising like the phoenix from the ashes with the emperor here. You know, this is your time. Use it wisely. But there is going to be initiation in love. I feel like you have choices and those choices have consequences. OK, yes, there's always some kind of sacrifice. But if you feel like you've sacrificed enough, OK, especially for a particular person or of your love life in general, OK, this is where I feel like you're going to make the decision because choices do have their consequences. And I feel like you're looking at all of it. You're preparing for the future. You're looking into the distant, right? You know, kind of how things are going to go, how they're going to play out. So, yeah. This person, I, you know, it's possible they just, like I say, they need to take a leap of faith, whoever they are. It's possible you've got this person who never, you, your paths will cross again if it's meant to be. The universe is your partner. So it's something to do with partnering up, the one. Maybe you've already met the one. Your paths will cross again if it's meant to be. So you've definitely got love here. I do see some Gemini, strong Gemini, Taurus energy. Virgo, Capricorn. Um, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini. Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, Sky Dancer, Surrender. See, it's about surrendering, but you know something you're not giving up because you're manifesting a house, a home, marriage, commitment, whatever that is, a business, a partner, someone who you can rely on, someone you can count on. See, love, building a legacy with someone here. I, I, if it is a person and you, you may cross paths with this person again, maybe the time wasn't right. But it's so interesting that the universe is your partner is sitting here because that tells me uh, maybe the time wasn't right. Maybe you needed to focus on your money and your finances. Okay? to be So you'd feel more confident. Because we know when you focus on your finances and you're stable, you feel more confident about your choices. Okay? So very interesting. One more. So someone's about to surrender. They're going to initiate because you're not initiating. You're not going to. You're you're busy on this other path here. Your money, your house, your home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sky Dancer. Dances on one foot. The balancing act. See, that's the Empress. And that's also the Queen of Pentacles. It's also the Queen of Swords. It's all about balance. Head over heart decision. Dances on one foot. See? staying balanced don't lose your balance don't lose your focus either if if even for love just you know like i say don't don't give up everything that you've worked for um, but i feel here um, there's this energy of when you know something is right and you know something is off okay so really really trust your intuition about the one somebody here already knew you were the one someone didn't trust their intuition and that's what i feel but i feel that timing wasn't right maybe they didn't have enough to give maybe they were still manifesting maybe they lacked the confidence so it's about looking at it okay and being logical but it's telling you i don't think you're ruled by your emotions right now i'm not seeing the queen of cups okay but i feel like you're going to 
you know, get something that you want here. But I feel like it's telling you to just be really cautious, okay? Yeah, be careful how much you give. You've given enough. It's so, it's now somebody else's turn, you see? The dragon's horde protecting the future. There it is. This is yourself. Yeah, protecting your money, everything you worked for. Now now maybe you you have more money, okay? Or you're going to because I feel like that's what's going to happen here. Um and then when some somebody does come towards you, you may not be so sure you really want it. So you're going to cross that bridge when you come to it. Because I feel like you're going to just stay doing your own thing. Doesn't mean you're not going to date or court if that's what you want or socialize. But it has to do with taking risks. You see, it's about looking before you leap. But this person is wanting to take a risk. They want to go down that path. And I feel they're looking back at what happened. Okay, maybe they didn't feel as confident as you if it is a business deal with, you know, but I, I feel like this, like I say, the crossing, this is the crossroads, see, crossing the bridge, approaching you. Someone kept all their feelings to themselves. They, they drank their own tears. So now I don't know why. Maybe there was other people involved, uh, family, friends, but there's, this transformation tells me there's a change. Um, somebody is, you know, it's about letting go of all these things. You know, you're definitely in control. I can tell you that right now, Cancer. Okay. You're not ruled by your emotions. Nobody can emotionally manipulate you. Put it that way. <laughs> you're going to get something you want. See, you're protecting the future. You're focused more on your future. In fact, this comes towards you. You might not see it coming. Okay, someone's going to initiate. One more. I just have to for you guys because this is pretty heavy stuff. The Dragon's Horde. That's, yeah. Winter's Dream. Gestation period. See, this is the Empress energy as well. You're manifesting something. This is the gestation period. This is the energy of releasing, healing, spending time with you. While you're doing you, you're building up money, finances. You're becoming stable. You're becoming more confident. You're also, I do see kindness and compassion as being very gracious, you see, often generous. The Queen of Pentacles is sometimes a person who indulges someone, makes them feel comfortable. But see, I don't think you're comfortable with this situation here. So there's something to do with a house, a home, marriage, commitment, and, or a business, or both. So, and stability, partner. See, it has to do, the universe is going to guide you to that partner, you know, whether someone's right for you or not. So that's where your intuition, but something is the gestation period. Something is manifesting here. It may happen in the winter time, okay? Possibly, okay? Winter's dream. Take care, Cancer. I wish you the very best, and we'll see you soon. There it is. It came out. Heart and home, compassion. See, looking on the past with compassion. But you're no longer ruled by your emotions. You're no longer sacrificing yourself for someone else's benefit. Someone who takes advantage. But you do have uh, someone going to reach out. I feel like it's someone you know that you cross paths with. You're going to cross that path again. So... You know, some kind of an invitation to someone's home, a party, a celebration. I feel like it's going to come from another person. Okay. Uh, some It could be matchmaking here, even in a new neighborhood or a new work situation. All right. Take care. Bye for now.